going on guys back at it again with another fallout 76 video here for you guys on the channel of course in this one we're going to be finishing up the ally uh quest line if you will for beckett and as you can see on the top right corner it's called thicker than water and the objective is specifically to go to the watoga underground so i know for a fact this is the last part of this mission so this one might be a short one because i don't want to start the next companion or the next ally if you will uh quest line uh until i'm done with this one so this one might be a short video so we'll find out how long it actually takes for this to get completed so there's that but if you're excited for this video do me a huge favor drop a like on this one and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's go ahead and make our way over to watoga Alrighty. So, uh, I guess we could do it this way, show on map. Uh, we'll, we'll just go to the Watogo Shopping Center. I believe this mission for all the robots is already completed. The mayor for a day, I believe it's called. Um, so we shouldn't have to deal with all the robots. But I should have probably took out my axe just in case. But, nah, I'm pretty sure we're fine. That's a pretty cool picture in my opinion. It really does feel like a military esque checkpoint almost like they just went to this little tiny building right here in the front and decided to commandeer it as a checkpoint and then of course they took refuge in that bunker behind them all right let's see here so um we literally spawned right next to the door we needed to be so that's perfect watoga underground it actually worked out perfectly. Stop, look, and listen. Damn, this was back in the day when uh, Murmur, or whatever the hell her name is, uh, was located at Berkeley Station, I believe it's called. I never thought that it made any sense whatsoever for her to be over there, to be honest. It, did, it just didn't make sense. She belonged in the ash heap oh hello what's up Beckett you're here now it's a party is this the one you were talking about <laughs> yep uh uh so you're the mysterious Ronnie I almost thought Beckett was making you up yeah I could see Beckett doing something like that luckily for both of you I'm perfectly real here you go. Key to this joint. Nice. It didn't come cheap, but since you're here to take down the claw, it was worth every cap. Um. Uh, is it just you? Where's all the muscle? You really think I'm gonna risk the whole gang cleaning this place out? No, no, no. You two are gonna be doing the heavy lifting, and I'll get my guys to take out the trash. Beckett will explain. Yeah. Uh, who did you have to bribe to get that key, specifically? Oh, I don't want to name names, but, uh, I have quite a few juicy contacts in Appalachia. That Damn doesn't tell me anything. this one was smart enough to do the swap through a middleman. Otherwise, I would have walked away with the key and my caps. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll make sure, uh, it was worth the caps you spent, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you better. My ass is hanging out in the breeze on this one. Uh, we, we know, Ronnie. We know. Anyway... Here's the plan. Ronnie's gonna head to the main garage entrance and get her gang wrapped up. And in the meantime, we're gonna cut our way through the Eagles and head to the garage control room and get the door open from the inside. Clear enough? Yeah. Sure. Uh. Uh. So the Blood Eagles think they're safe down here? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, get this. They even got some of the Watoga Underground's robots up and running to throw in our path. I guess we've worn them down so much they're getting desperate. Not that they were level-headed to start with, but... Alright, no worries. I got it. One more thing. The Claw is the only one who knows where they're keeping Frankie. So don't go all gun-happy on me until I give the go-ahead. I already told my gang. I don't use the gun, Any though. Any of them shoots the Claw, they gotta an answer to me. Alright. Good luck. I'll see you both on the other side. Thank you, Ronnie. What the fuck? She's got powers. She just disappeared. Alright, so looks like 
according to Beckett, that there's robots around here. Open the garage door. There he is. That's it. That's all the robots. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm not sure we're supposed to go down or go this way. But I guess since we're already up here, we might as well check both. Damn, Beckett is strong. Alright, so I gotta find a key for that, apparently. What the hell's that? How dare you? Alright, let's check this way. I think these are just bathrooms. Yeah, they're bathrooms. There's a lot of bathrooms. Well, I guess there's two male, two female, huh? So I guess it's not this that is bigger much. bigger than I thought. No wonder the eagles are looting the place. It's not very fortified either. Um, looks like there's a bunch of hats around here. This is definitely a clothing store. Is this a gray one? It is a gray knit hat. Let's see how this looks. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. I kind of prefer my campaign hat, though. I think it looks better. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, okay, so there's a, another way down, so... Or is this... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just another way down. Whatever it is we're looking for, it's got to be over here somewhere. Oh, God. Ah, oh, another robot. And... Hiya! What the hell's that? Oh, it's a turret. Oh, run away. Oh, God. What the hell? Very nice. Wait a minute. You be nice to me, damn it. How do I get up there into that room? Is this the door I'm supposed to open? It's a garage door. All right. I guess not. There's a thing right here, though. A terminal. Perhaps this is how you open it. A uh, garage door. Open. There we go. That was easy. Wait. Nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. Beckett, where where are you? Are you in trouble? This dumbass is just standing there. I think he's broken. Oh, wait. Eh. Oh, this guy was a legendary. Auto stim, robot. Nah, I'm good. What's this? Maybe I could shut that freaking turret down. So that Beckett can move freely. Because apparently he's stuck. Let's go. Can you move now, Beckett? Yes, he can. Good stuff. Oh, God. Can I move now? Fuck. All right, so it doesn't look like this necessarily. Oh fuck! Oh, that was close. All right, so it's got to be on the other side. So let's go this way because we did open the doors on this side as well. Wait, didn't we? Oh, okay, it's this one. So let's go over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the way. I was about to say there's a car in the way. What is that? I hear like a mongrel or something. Ooh. Disease cure? Sure, why not? You scared the hell out of me, my friend. Not even gonna lie. There's nothing over here. Um. Let me see here. Where's all the bad guys? Is it the Blood Eagle supposed? This, this is supposed to be there. Oh, I spoke too soon, I suppose. Look at him, he's all pissed off. That's not gonna fix anything, guy. Yes. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> <We're so good. laughs> that was fucking awesome. Oh, that was amazing. Hey, hello. Can I have your gun, please? Um... The second I find a workbench, though, I need to scrap these things. 
That's literally everybody? I find that kind of hard to believe that the... Out here. That this is all that's left. You give me that stim pack. You'll Thank you. Still. That should have got him. That should have got him too. You... Oh, wait. And... Oh, wait. What do you have on you? Nothing that I give a shit about. So... Oh, well. Alright, let me see here. We're bound to be close, right? Wait, it says... Why does it still saying open the garage door? Didn't we already do that? What's over here? I should be the boss. I really should. Uh, if you say so. Can I activate, like, turrets or something? Turret controls. Uh, remove targeting restrictions. Um. Your flesh is mine. What the hell's going on? All right, let's just turn it off. I don't even know what the hell I did, anyways. Turret control. We'll only make the pain uh, deactivate. Happy reclamation day. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> Be nice to me, damn it. You're gonna need more than that, buddy. More than that? Is that good enough for you? Fusion cell and rifle. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Goodbye. What do you have? I'll be taking those. You know what? And the plasma cartridges, of course. Goodbye. Oh. He's a scrappy little fellow. Long term. Long terms. Wait, am I even going the right way? I'm not sure. I'm just kind of guessing at this point. No, wait. Yeah, okay, so this is where I came from. So I have to be going this way. What the hell? I'm stuck on. There we go. I need to find a freaking workbench, though. Because I really, really need to scrap these weapons. Oh, wait. Is this just a dead end? Oh, never mind. It's over here. Oh, God. I'm, I'm walking. Um, We got a picker-up truck. A Corvega. Oh, this guy's just level 8. Fuck out of here. Um, what is, can I please hack the damn terminal, please? Thank you, my friend. You are so kind. Let's find out what's in here. Let the guessing game begin. Too easy. Remote control? Open door? So I opened this door, apparently. Where the hell does this go? Got a rad ant. A glowing ant. I have no idea. Oh, well, I mean, I found a bench, so. I'll be doing that. I'm keeping that because that's a unique. Uh... And these three. And I'm not doing this necessarily for... Uh, dude, I'm still overweight. Maybe I should scrap... Oh, I did already. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Looks like I'm overweight. Oh, well. <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's not like these guys are very difficult anyways. Um, Alright, I think I saw some stairs over here. Yep. We should be getting closer to the end, no? Alright, looks like we got one. Yeah, there's only one way to go, so. Danger! Hard hat protection required. How about a campaign hat? 
Is that is that good enough? Um, I think you're fucked, bro. Dude, I'm like absolutely destroying all these guys. Oh, let's go ahead and destroy that. Even though it didn't give me anything, thanks for nothing. Ooh, what are we playing? I guess nothing important. See you later, robot. See you later, robot. See you later, you. I'll be taking that. What do you have? Uh, I'm not going to take any of that right now, to be honest, because I don't really need it. Leave or die. I don't think I will. Uh, either. Oh my god. This freaking asshole pushed me off. You're gonna die. I was trying to pick up this laser rifle. Wait a minute. How did I equip a freaking laser rifle? That was weird. Alright, I'm not gonna think about it too much. It's not important. I think the game really wants me to be a laser weapon guy. And I do too. Garage door, open door. Wait, is that the garage door I was trying to open? I keep opening garage doors, but it doesn't update on me. So who knows? Maybe I screwed this up somehow. I hope not. Do I have anything to scrap? Yes, two laser rifles. Precise stock. Woohoo! I'm gonna do it. When their backs are turned, I swear I'll do it. Who goes there? Scanners detecting yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh god. Is there something I can hack? What is this? Push button. What? I'm not gonna lie to you, I have no idea what I just did. The fucking boom, you say. Oh, Where'd you come from? Don't kill me. Alright, maybe I should come over here for a second while I heal. There we go. Alright, you, my friend. Oh god. Let's go! Are you gonna fucking die? Wait a minute. I have a raider friend? Oh, those are the... The good guys. The good side of the raiders. Let's try to get a power hit. Perfect. Since this has the 40% power... Hell yeah, these are these are the good raiders. My backup. They finally made it. Where the hell is um What's her name? Ronnie? I kinda wanna explore at the same time though. I suppose I'll do this. Really hate these mini games to be honest. The hacking and the other thing. Learn Death Claw Wellington. That recipe is was learned by my main character about 25,845 years ago. All right, let's go through here. Uh, I think that's the. Oh God! What the hell, Frankie? Is that you? That's right, Beckett. It's me, your baby brother. Surprise, surprise! No. No way. This doesn't make any sense. You're the claw? How is that possible? Oh, Beckett. Always two steps behind. 
racing to catch up. Think, brother, think. The claw. The claw lives within all of us, waiting for the moment it awakens and tears its way through our flesh, only to burst forth anew. We're all the claw. That sounds stupid. Frank, <laughs> listen to me. You gotta fight this. It's the chems. They, 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 they did something to you. <clears throat> Changed you. This isn't you, man. You can beat this thing. Oh. <laughs> the fight ended long before it began, sweet brother. If you say it so. died when you left me in foundation. Left me so you could seek the claw yourself. The draw was too much for you, wasn't it? The allure of power. Making you forget the past. Making you forget everything you love. Look, man, Damn. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I was wrong. I, I, I shouldn't have stuffed you away like that. We, we should have stuck together. It's, look, it is all my fault. Come yes, on, it Frankie. Is. Snap mm. out of it. Okay, you are my brother, and I need you to come home. Frankie, no, 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 no. Frankie's dead. You killed him. Beckett. You're standing right in front of me, us. Abandoning him, you pulled the trigger. But I know why you're really here. To slay the claw and yourself become the claw anew. Finish the job, Beckett. Do what you must. Don't do it, Beckett. That's your brother. Oh, wait, I have to talk to him? Convince Beckett to spare his brother's life? Or convince Beckett to kill his brother. I don't know what to do. I, I never expected anything like this. Please. I need your help. I, I don't know if Frankie's in there or not anymore. He's your brother, man. Maybe he's too far gone to save him. And, and I should just pull the trigger. Please help me. Um. Let me see. It's clear Frankie's too far gone. And it now. Uh, you love your brother, Beckett. Talk to him. Remind him how much he means to you. Uh, do you think there's any hope for getting him back to normal? Uh, how could Frankie be the claw? Maybe you should just leave. Uh, how could Frankie be the claw? Okay, the claw must, must, must be just a name the Blood Eagles have used for different people over the years. I'm not sure how Frankie took the claw's place before we got here. But I'm Killed sure him. it has something to do with the chems. Okay. Do you think there's any hope of getting him back to normal? I don't know. I'm one of three blood eagles to ever escape their brainwashing and kick the cam habit. And it was painful. I mean, it almost killed me. I don't know if Frankie can survive that. But you, but you did, so there's a chance, right? So, I think the only option is... I mean, you love your brother, man. Talk to him. Remind him how much he means to you. Oh my god, you're right. I let him get inside my head. I need to focus. Let me talk to him. Hey, Frankie? I want you to look at me. Look? Yes. Look. Look beyond this shell made of skin and bone. Look deep and witness the soul of the claw. Focus on my voice, Frankie. It's just me and you against the world, buddy. Just like old times. Come on, man. Focus. I know you've been hurt, Frankie. And I know I wasn't there for you, especially when you needed me the most. And I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. It's not that easy, Beckett. Claw demands a high price for failure. The price is suffering. Listen to me, Frankie. Do you remember when we were kids? You know, we were playing near that bombed out factory in Maryland. And then those, 
Those rabbit dogs just jumped out of nowhere and just, just surprised us. And we ran and we ran. But then I fell into that ditch and twisted my leg like a dumbass, right? <laughs> Hmm? I told you to run. But what did you say to me, man? Hmm? Try and remember. No, Beckett. I... Those moments died when Frankie died. Only a fool dwells in the past. The Blood Eagles are our future. You don't have to dwell to just remember. There's no claw. And there's no Blood Eagles. There's just me and you right now. All right, so shut up and listen. After the dogs were gone and you reached into the ditch to help me out, what did you say? Tell me, goddammit, Frankie, tell me! No, I... I... I said... I... We were brothers and we'd never walk away from... from each other. No matter how bad... No matter... No matter how bad things became, yeah, that's exactly right. And you fought off those dogs with nothing but a goddamn broken baseball bat, and it almost killed you, man. But you... you saved me. I mean, you were so caught up from the fight, I... I thought I was gonna lose you, Frankie. Uh, I remember... Uh, you stole those meds from me. There you go. To fight off the rabies. You kept watch over me for weeks. I... Uh, why can't I see it clearly? Uh, the hell happened Those camps to must Beckett. be really strong. God, this hurts. Uh, it hurts so much. Uh, oh, God, I know it hurts, man. I know it does. But whatever it takes, we'll get through this together. All right, we are family, and I love you, Frankie. I always have, I always will. I love you too, Beckett, and, and I'm sorry. Sorry for everything. Damn. Is that it? Speak with Beckett. I can't believe I was able to talk him through that. Uh, I'm proud of you, Beckett. Out of me for not murdering my brother. Hmm? <laughs> well, I suppose that's high, high praise for a former raider. You know, if anything, I should be disappointed with myself. You know, this is all my fault to begin with. I started him down this path by not being there for him. And to make matters worse, I was such a chicken shit, I forced you to make this decision. Not my finest hour. Yeah, you're fine, dude. Uh, I'm here for you, man. I got your back. And I have yours. Forever. I mean that. Thank you. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna bring Frankie to a friend I know who can help him fully recover from his addiction. Head back to your camp, all right? And I'll meet you there soon. And before you say anything, yes, I promise to show up. <laughs> Don't worry. Have a safe trip back. All right. Good. Watoga Underground Key. Whoa, there's a back way out of here. Open door, help me. Whoa, this is trippy. I gotta take a picture of this. Uh. Bam, right there. There's a thing right here too. With the Sal Salisbury steak, I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, what else is out over here? So we came from that other way. What's back here? Oh, this is just the other side of this place. All right. Let's check upstairs. Can we even go this way? Yeah, I guess so. We don't have to go all the way around, do we? Oh, okay. So this is just leaving. There's a problem though because I, I'm kind of over encumbered. I think a simple uh, buff out might suffice, though. I wonder if Beckett's going to have anything spectacular or anything to say once we get back to camp. Should be pretty interesting, to be honest. I don't remember if he says anything, but I guess we'll find out here shortly, huh? Ooh. 
Let's see here. Can oh yeah, it says speak with Beckett at your camp. I need I need a dick doll for my main character, man, to be honest. Dude, I'm like heavy. Do I have a weapon or something on me? Well here, you know what? I'll drop this. It's level 30 anyways, and I'll drop this. And I'll, I'll definitely drop that pump shotgun. Actually, I think at this point, a buff out would work. So, where's my buff out? Buff out. Now, let's go over there before our, whoops, before our thing runs out. While we're waiting, let's drink some water. And maybe eat. If we can. There we go. Now we're fully topped off when it comes to food and water. And we get to go talk to Beckett and find out exactly what the situation is with his brother. Hopefully he tells us something. He really lost it though. Those camps must be really freaking strong. If he literally couldn't remember anything from his past. Even his brother. Besides the fact that he is his brother. But... That's crazy. It's almost like he completely changed. Like he completely became a different person in general. It's hard work making a living out here. You shut the hell up, dude. If All right. Those raiders come snooping around. They're gonna regret it. No, not customized. Hey, what's up? Hey, there you are. I had some news for you about Frankie. I talked to Ronnie. Um, she's taking care of everything. You know, uh, burying him and all that. I, uh... Burying him? I just couldn't deal with it. It's just about time to eat. Wait, what? We didn't kill him, though. I'm not sure about that. Uh... Clean up this, fix that. Never seemed to end. Um... What about Frankie's girlfriend? Well, good thing is, uh, she hadn't been kidnapped by the Blood Eagles like I'd suspected. She had actually gone into hiding. I Smart. sent her word about Frankie's death. Or what do you mean Frankie's cats death? Her way to try and smooth things over. Don't look at me like that. I, you know, I might have been a raider for years, but I'm not a heartless asshole. I'm kind of confused. We did choose to save him, right? Uh, you sure it was smart leaving him at the raider camp? Yeah, it's cool. Ronnie said she'll kick his butt out of her camp the moment Frankie clears his head. But helping her out has really paid off. Thanks again for convincing her to back our place. See, that one suggests he's still alive. That one... That was weird. Uh, did you ever find out uh, how he got mixed up with all the Blood Eagle stuff? Yeah, yeah. And I had it all wrong at the beginning. See, it turns out, Frankie had been gone longer from Foundation than I was led it's to believe. Work, and he actually joined the Eagles voluntarily. Now, of course, he did it to follow in my footsteps, so... Yeah, I guess that one's on me. But as he started taking the buff out overdoses and buying into the Eagles' bullshit, it... blew his mind, and he started climbing the ranks. After the previous claw got wiped out and it was clear Frankie was one of the craziest in the gang at the time, <laughs> well, he filled the spot. Damn. Well, I hope I, uh, we've seen the last of these Blood Eagles. Uh, unfortunately, it won't be. Uh, there's still plenty of those maniacs around. And the important thing is that we took out their leadership. And since that was what I set out to do, I'm officially out of a job. Um, what's Ronnie up to anyways? Well, now that Edwin's retired, Ronnie is the full-time leader of the gang, so. Now she said she'll swing by your camp every once in a while, say hello. As long as the bar is open, of course. Yeah, now that people have come back That's cool. Area, uh, think the remaining Blood Eagles will cause any, you know, issues for us? Yeah, I'm sure a few of those maniacs are still out there. And they'll be looking for a fight. 
But as long as they remain leaderless, we'll be fine. They'll eventually, you know, organize again. Uh, so I see you're quitting the whole raider racket. That's right. Man, after all the crap I've been through, there's no way I'm going back to that life. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll still be more than happy to accept the caps that come with brokering any jobs for you. If you're interested. Um, what kind of jobs are we talking about? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. Nothing you haven't done before. Don't worry. Might want to stock up on ammo and supplies before you take them on, though. Just in case. Uh, so you're staying on my captain? Well, I uh, sure as hell don't want to pull up stakes and rebuild somewhere else. Plus, <laughs> we make a hell of a team. And I mean, who am I to break up our, uh, gang? Yeah? Well, if you say so. Sounds good to me, though. Great. I'll see what my contacts come up with. Hey, um, before you take off, I, uh, I just have one last thing to say. What's up? You know... Since I've been in Appalachia, I've uh, run into all sorts of people, and, uh, you know, most of them wouldn't bother to help you if you were dying at their feet, but you, and what you've done for me and my family, listen, I don't know if I'll ever be able to repay you. You're fine, dude. Uh... Yeah, forget about it, dude. You don't owe me anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> good. So, I uh, guess you have a lot of stuff to do, and well, I, I need to start looking for some jobs to run. But, you know, if you ever need a drink or just want to talk, uh, bar's always open, friend. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Ghoul Simpsons, Slayers, Forest Adams, Scout, Right Armor. All right. Well, I don't need that. But let's see, the final word ignores 50% of your target's armor. What does it do again? Uh, final word, oh, that'll be an F. Sore all over. Uh, you ignores 50% of your target's run. armor, 25% fire rate, anti-armor fire rate, nice. Uh, 20, 250 uh, plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. This is actually well. not a bad weapon. Um... And I don't have anything to scrap either, I don't think. Let's see if there's anything it when will give you me. you die, can I harvest you for bone shards? It's hard work. I ruined it, huh? Out here. Oh, well. All right, here you go. Let's go ahead and insert this over here. And, oh, God. Get out of my way, sir. All right. But we're going to go ahead and call it a video right here, right now, guys. In the next video, we're going to start the other ally quest line, as you see right here. It's called Crash Landing. But I'm not going to get into that right now because that's its own thing. So in the next video, we're definitely going to be doing that. But as for this one, like I said, we're going to be calling it a video right here, right now. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, though, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said... Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.